Okay, this sermon is entitled, Why Do Some People Not Believe? A Response to Unsaved Calvinists. I'd like to open up with prayer and then with a few verses. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 150 reads, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Now, whenever you're dealing with unsaved Calvinists, these people like to throw out the question, why do some people believe on Jesus Christ and others don't? And the only reason they're asking this question is because they think they have the answer. According to them, God picks and chooses who's going to be saved and therefore who's going to believe. And if you're an anti-Calvinist, they throw this question out, because we disagree with that. The unsaved James White has used this stupid question, and he has followed up with, are some people smarter than others? Is that why they believe? Are they more spiritual? And this is all just a bunch of stupidity. So let's just see what the Bible has to say about this. Why do some people believe on Christ and others don't? Well, we see one of the reasons in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. It reads in verse 3, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Now, what does it take to unveil the gospel? It takes gospel preaching, and we see that in verse 5, But we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus, the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Now, if you're a Calvinist, the gospel is hidden to you. And that's why Calvinists have no idea how to be saved. It's not faith in Christ. It's repent of your sins, or you got to have the works, or persevere to the end. So one reason why people reject the gospel is because it is hidden to them. The second reason is because people hate the light. Turn over to John chapter 3. It reads in verse 19, And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. So, when it comes to certain people, they just don't want anything to do with the light of the gospel, and that's an explanation as to why they reject it. Number three, some people see no need for salvation. And this is the case with a lot of self-righteous people. They think they can work their way to heaven, or that they can merit their salvation, or that they're a good person, therefore they don't see any need to believe on Christ. Number four, people have a plausibility structure, and this could cause them not to believe. For instance, let's say a person lived in a socio-cultural environment where atheism is predominant, and Christianity is deemed implausible. This could engender unbelief just because of the fact that lots of people out there, namely skeptics, do not believe that Christianity has any factual credibility. The next possible reason why people disbelieve the gospel is because perhaps they have never been exposed to the true gospel, where the only condition for salvation is belief on Christ. All they've encountered was a false gospel, where they were told that they had to do something, like repent of their sins, or obey the commandments, or whatever. Number six, grace seems ridiculous to most people. Now this explains why so many people reject free grace. They hear the message of grace, it's shocking, and then they reject it because it seems too good to be true. And then finally, the last reason on my list why people reject the gospel is just volition. As much as the Calvinist hates this concept, and free will is like a theological cuss word to them, that is one of the reasons. In John 3.36 it reads, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. When a person reaches this bifurcation, or this watershed moment, they can either accept the gospel and believe it, or they can reject it and not believe it. And there doesn't even have to be a reason. So, Calvinism is a bunch of damnable stupidity. My question to them is, why do they reject the true gospel of grace and cling to this soul-damning garbage that's straight out of the pits of hell? I guess their answer would have to be they were chosen to believe this stupidity and predestined to go to hell. And that would be the case if they can't accept these biblical reasons 
for why people reject the gospel as opposed to simply believing it. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.